Radio Tubers, welcome back. Another update that you'll love. You'll notice the petrol engine there. It actually fired straight off. Uh, hot wired up, hasn't been started for like 10 years. Hot wired it, hit the key, and it started off. Of course, we did add the addition of a few cold cranking amps. Um, the old big battery. That has come for the second time in two days because that wouldn't start yesterday. So this one has been purchased to replace my green mini that was the electric mini that never really got anywhere. The benefit to this one is it is running, it kind of drives, um, it's painted, it's blue, I love blue. Um, but what somebody did sometime in the past is they cut out um, the back area there to put a back seat in, but a back seat would never get approved because that's where they proposed the anchor points would be for the for the seat belts. So that's never gonna happen, but it's all been resprayed. Um, it's in quite good condition, doesn't have very much rust. Uh, the only rust I can find on the whole car, I haven't even washed it. Only rust I can see is down there in that hole. And underneath there, if you can, where is it? There, so there's a bit of rust down the bottom there. It's fairly straight. It's a mini, right? Um, it's a 74 Leyland panel van with windows in the back, factory windows in the back. A whole heap of spare parts. So the plan is no more power walls. Well, I lie. I still don't need power walls. But try and get this running registered on the road. I need to sell it so I can afford a Morris panel van because I want a Morris, not a Leyland. And then go electric or use this one as a basis to go electric for the first one and then try the second one. Um, I'll, I'll put an image here. There goes the dog. Um, there's a company out in uh, Springwood that I pulled the Tesla battery out of a few years ago for my 40,000 subscriber. And they're doing electric mini at the moment. So that'll be interesting to see how that progresses. It might be that's an option just to put it over there and get them to do it. Graham from uh, Suzy Auto or um, EV, I don't know. I'll put a link in the description. But there you go, tubers. That's an update for you. I'm pretty happy. Um, I should show you inside. I've got a box full of books. i got a helper. Say hello, helper. Yeah. Um, got a weird dash in it. 200 kilometers an hour. That is a little bit optimistic. Um, but yeah, so that goes in there somehow. I don't imagine I'm gonna to have too much fun with this wiring. Can't be worse than a computer, right? Well, there's a redneck. Cables into the battery, jumps it up. Um, so the seats have been redone, so they look pretty cool. Apparently they were done like 20 years ago. No door trims, no roof liner. Um, it's, you know, I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, I know what it is, but speakers, all these broken, so I have to put all that back together again, which is not very hard, it's just time consuming. Uh, nice little sports steering wheel. And back across to the back again, you can see down there. That, that actually is like a little compartment under there. And they've just run a saw along the back and cut it off. So it, it's been well done, actually. Now, if I go electric, I don't need the little hump in the middle. So it may be an option just to put some batteries along there and job be done. So that is definitely high on my list of, you know, ideas to do something. Ah, I'm quite happy. So I got out of it for fairly cheap. So hopefully we don't find it too many surprises. Um, the door pods have been cut off. So there's no nowhere here to put the latch to stop the door from swinging open. And this is their, um, their solution to that for now. So we'll have to deal with that. Windows are tinted, fires off. It's got really wide wheels. They look like they're standard um, rims that have been widened on standard drums. Uh, they don't appear to rub anywhere, which is kind of cool. Um, there's, a couple, there's a hole in the floor pan. I don't know. I don't know what the hole's from, but there's a hole in the floor pan that'll need to be fixed. Roof is pretty good. So all up, it's pretty good condition. A lot better than the green mini, um, like panel wise. Even the engine bay is quite good. It, the motor must have been taken out. I think it was dropped out from the bottom by the look of the overspray and stuff. So 
Anyway, tubers, what do you think about that? Drop a comment, one of them, or one of them if you don't like it. I'll see you on the next one.